Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a custom domain for your self-hosted AppSmith instance. And while doing this, we'll also set up HTTPS so that we have all of that security in place. So this video will be a complete walkthrough from the bare metal to getting a custom domain to setting everything up. And by the end of this video, I hope I'll be able to show you how to have that set up for your own AppSmith instance. All right, so that's a quick overview of what we'll be looking at in today's video. My name is Confident and I'm a developer advocate at AppSmith. Without any delay, let's get started. All right, so right here, we are going to be doing the setup for my self-hosted VM on GCP, but the same principle can be applied on AWS, DigitalOcean, or whatever platform you want to host your own instance on. So right here, I'm on GCP, and I'm just going to go to the Compute Engine tab, and here is where I have my instance set up. The only prerequisites to this is that you should already have Docker and Docker Compose installed on your instance, and that I already have set up. So I'm just going to SSH into my instance. All right, so this is an SSH into my instance. All right, and right here, I have access to my instance. So the first thing I'm going to do here is install AppSmith using Docker. And for that, I'm just going to head over to the docs. So this is going to be docs.appsmith.com and what i'm going to do here is go to the self-hosting tab and scroll to the docker installation guide so here is the docker installation guide and i'm going to be installing with docker compose so i'm just going to download the docker compose file using this um, command so i'm going to copy it over let's head back to my instance and what i'm going to do is create a folder for the appsmith instance so let's make a directory called appsmith and we can see the into the AppSmith directory. All right, this is good. So I'm going to paste that command here to download the Docker Compose file. And if we take a look at what we have inside the Docker Compose file, you can see that we have all of the information required to start up the AppSmith instance. Um, if you want auto update enabled, you have to uncomment all of these lines, but I'm just going to leave them as is. So one small change I will be making here is changing the port AppSmith runs on to a different port. First, I'm going to disable the SSL port because this is going to be handled by Nginx Proxy Manager. And then I'm going to move AppSmith to a different port so that Nginx receives the request and then proxies it to the AppSmith, which would run on a different port. So I'm going to uncomment the HTTPS port. And for the HTTP port, this is going to be on port 8080. All right, so this looks good. So I'm going to save it by hitting Command S or Control X and exiting with Control X. Now that looks good. So I am going to start off the instance so that it pulls the image and then uh, creates the instance using Docker. So let's do a Docker Compose up dash D. And this is going to pull um, the image and create the instance. So while this is pulling, I'm just going to head back to my GCP console. And one thing you might want to do is um, enable firewall rules so that you can access other ports that are not on port 80, so that you can access other non 80 HTTP ports. So I'm going to duplicate this tab. And here we're going to head over to the networking config so that we can take that up. So right here, I'm just going to go to networking, all right, and here we have the BCP network. So I'm going to go to the firewall rules and make a small tweak to the HTTPS firewall rule to allow other ports than port 80. So this is um, the HTTP rule. I'm going to edit this and I'm just going to scroll down to say allow all ports. And I'm going to save this and that looks good. So this means that we'll be able to access other ports running on our uh, private VM using the external IP address of the instance. So if we head back here and we try to go visit the external IP, so I'm just going to copy this over and I'm going to paste this right here. And we try to visit a port such as the AppSmith port, which is running on port 80. So I'm just going to throw in a HTTP here. We should have access to the AppSmith instance that's running on Docker 
on our private VM. So everything looks good right now. And the next thing we need to do is install Nginx Proxy Manager. So to do that, I'm just going to do a quick Google search. So this is Nginx Proxy Manager and just click on the first link you see here or go to nginxproxymanager.com and let's click on get started and here we can scroll down to grab the docker compose command for this installation so i'm just going to copy this over and let's head back to our instance now the pull is complete and of course the AppSmith instance is up and running. So I'm going to go back to um, a different folder and create a folder for the nginx installation. CD dot dot, let's go back and create a new folder. All right, and we can CD into that folder and create the Docker Compose file. So I'm going to do echo and here I'm going to paste in what we just copied for the docker compose command and let us save this in a file called docker compose.yaml all right that looks good so what I'm going to do um, if we take a look at what we have in that file so we can do a cat docker compose.yaml you can see that we have nginx running on port 80 port 81 and port 443 for the HTTPS or SSL certificate. So what we're going to do here is bring up the nginx instance using docker compose up dash d and this is going to pull the nginx image so let's give this some time to do its thing and we'll come back to it. All right so it seems this is done and uh, we can go check this out by visiting um, the IP address of our instance, but without any port added to it. So we're just going to visit the IP address of our instance. And you can see that um, we have Nginx Proxy Manager running. So to visit the admin panel or admin portion of the Nginx Proxy Manager, what we're going to do here is just add port 81 or visit port 81 uh, to our IP address. And here we have access to the Proxy Manager and we can log into the admin panel. So the default login credentials, we can get, get that from the Nginx Proxy Manager website. This is going to be, um, for the email, it's going to be admin at example.com. So let's head back here and I can paste it in right here. And for the password, this is going to be change me. So let's do that. I'm going to paste this in right here. And we can sign in. All right, that is good. So here it's here is a prompt for us to update the default user. So I'm going to set this to my email ad address. All right. And I'm also going to update the password to something more secure. All right, so we can save this and we have Nginx set up. We'll be coming back to this so that we can set up the reverse proxy and also the um, SSL certificate for HTTPS. But at this point, what we want to do is go to grab a custom domain name. For the sake of this demo, we'll be using a free domain name provider called Freenom. So what you just need to do is open up a new tab and search for Freenom. All right. And what you can do is go ahead to create an account and search for a free domain. So they have a free domain service for you to register a new domain. So you can do that, go ahead to search for a new domain and register it. But I already have a couple of domains and we can go ahead to use those domains I already have set up. So if I go to the my domain section, so I have my appsmith.tk and we're going to be setting this up to work with our appsmith instance. So now that we have a domain, um, the next thing I'm going to do is to set up Cloudflare to be a DNS provider so that whenever that domain is um, visited, Cloudflare does the resolution and then it points to the IP address of my appsmith instance. So let's go set up a Cloudflare account. So this is going to be dash.cloudflare.com if you don't already have an account go ahead to create one and um, you will be taken to the dashboard which is what is opening up right now so at this point this is where i go to add 
the domain I have registered from Freenom. So this is going to be, um, I'm just going to click on this domain and this is going to be appsmith.tk or my appsmith.tk. So this is my appsmith.tk. All right, so I'm going to click on search and I'm just going to add it. So let's add it right here by typing myapps.tk. So I'm going to add that domain to the Cloudflare account. All right, now I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and use the free account. This is very important. So scroll down to the bottom and use the free account. And I'm going to click on continue. All right, and we are good to go. So what I'm going to do is head over to the DNS section. And this is where I can copy Cloudflare's name servers into the name server for my domain. So I'm just going to head over to um, the domain management on Freenom. So I'm going to click on manage domain. All right. And here we are going to head over to management tools and then click on name servers. All right. So here is where you would go ahead to set this to use custom name server, which I already have set here. And here is where you would enter the name server from Cloudflare. So I'm just going to copy them over, although I already have them added, but um, just go ahead to copy them over here, paste them in right here. All right. And paste in the second one right here and click on the change name server button. And with that, we are done with what we need to set up from the Freenom end of things. Now, if we head back to Cloudflare, what we're going to do here is create a record to bridge our domain from Freenom to our IP address on GCP. So what I'm going to do here is add a new DNS record. So we are going to add a new DNS record. Um, I'm going to add a root record so that whenever someone visits my appsmith.tk, this actually points to the IP address of my um, VM instance on GCP. So for the app record, I am going to grab my IP address right here and let's head back to the um, IP address field and I'm just going to paste this in right now and I'm going to click on the save button and then we are going to add a new record for a subdomain uh, such that whenever someone visits www.myapps.tk they also land on my instance so let's add one for www and then I'm just going to paste in my IP address and click on the save button now if we go ahead to visit myapps.tk or www myapps.tk, we should have that redirecting to my instance. So I can try this out. So let's go visit www.myapps.tk. And as you can see, this actually points to the Nginx proxy manager of my instance. So we have this connection going smoothly. Now, the last thing we need to do here is head back to the proxy manager and generate an SSL certificate so that we'll be able to have access to my instance using HTTPS. So let's head back to do that. So I'm just going to go to the proxy manager and here we're going to go to the SSL certificate tab. All right, and we're going to add a new SSL certificate. So let's use the let's encrypt SSL certificate and here is where we can enter in our domain. So in this case, this is going to be my appsmith.tk, all right? And we can do a test to see if um, it's able to reach my domain, which is cool. I'm going to agree to the letter encrypt terms of services. And here we can click on the save button and let it generate the certificate. All right, so my certificate is generated and now we have HTTPS connection to our instance using that domain. So what I'm going to do now is make a redirect such that whenever someone visits the root domain or www.myapps.com, instead of landing on this um, test page or demo page, they are actually directed to my AppSmith instance running on Docker. So if we head back to the proxy manager and we head back to the dashboard, I'm going to add a new proxy host. So I'm going to click on proxy host. Let us add a new proxy host. And for this, I'm going to be adding my appsmith.tk. I'm also going to add www.myappsmith.tk. All right. 
Um, so for the IP address of the AppSmith instance running on Docker, to be able to get that IP address, we need to head back to the instance or the VM where we have the instance running. And we need to check what the IP address of the Docker network is. So we can take a look at that by typing IP A. And if you take a look at this, if you scroll up, you can see we have the Docker Zero network. And this is running on the IP address of 127.17.0.1. All right, so we have this. I'm going to head back here and paste it in right here. And then for the port AppSmith is running on, I remember we updated this from port 80 to port 8080. And here I'm just going to enable web socket support and that looks good. So I'm going to go ahead to save this and we have the redirect set up right here on Nginx Proxy Manager. So if we head back to the website, myappsmith.tk, and we do a hard reload, we should have access to the AppSmith instance that we have set up, which is just awesome. All right, we are able to access our AppSmith instance, and here I can go ahead with the setup process, and this is very lovely. So we've been able to set up the custom domain with SSL support using um, Nginx Proxy Manager, Cloudflare, and um, a free domain from Freenom to test this installation. So this is how you can go about setting up a custom domain with HTTPS for your AppSmith instance. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, don't forget to get subscribed and I'm going to catch you in the next video. All right, take care, bye-bye.